Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel today. With me here I have a very special guest, my sister Kai. And today we're going to be doing basically a giant taste test of different unicorn foods. So we've both been noticing a trend a lot lately and my mom had been noticing it as well. Everything. That everything is unicorn. Like everything. every single food. <laughs> that you used to be able to get, now there's like unicorn feed and like unicorn shape this, unicorn marshmallows and Lucky Charms. So we thought we would just go through, taste them all, and figure out what exactly is unicorn flavor. So to start, we have most delicious, they're called candies, <laughs> two C's and a Z. Double the C, double the Z, double the flavor. You would know, if you've seen uh, Rock of Ages, you would know. Um, it's unicorn fruit choco. <laughs> <laughs> it's it says and we're confused by this one dark chocolate and fruits flavored white chocolate covered with a thin sugar coating it says they are imported from italy so they should yeah. be fancy they look cute we have lemon strawberry double choco and fruit blueberry and pistachio hopefully that's a mistake yeah let's throw it to the floor it's fine so it's like all different little colors like it's there's like pebbles like pink white green and purple I'm Worried about pistachio the most, All right, so I want to try it. I don't know if I okay. That's not what I was expecting. It's like dark chocolate on the inside, surrounded so by white chocolate. I guess. I want this double chocolate. I'm not gonna eat the rest of that one. I'm just gonna leave. I don't it know what the flavors are. Cause it's not very good. Cause the package has like this is lemon, lemon strawberry. Do you think? I don't. I don't. Know. And this is blueberry pistachio. Or is this blueberry? Pistachio? Which one's double chocolate? I don't, I don't know. Maybe they all are. I'm gonna try the lemon. I hate lemon. I'm gonna go with this purple one. I think it's okay. I just like chocolate. This one's not good. I don't have any purple. Wait, can I have the other half of Absolutely. yours? Absolutely, I hate it. I think that blueberry, that purple one, is the best one. I haven't had strawberry though. Is it good? No. I like pistachio. It didn't taste like anything. Here. Oh, too late. <laughs> I already hate another one. I also one. have a graveyard of the things I don't like. They're okay. I wouldn't recommend. But they're fine. Well, what do we have next? The Satan candy. Mm. That's this cotton candy, mm -hmm. which is so cute. It has a unicorn. It's playful. It's called Rainbow Unicorn Cotton Candy and Bubble Gun. I just want you to put your face inside of this. It smells like paint thinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. Paint thinner. I can't wait to taste it. Put Felicia back. It's the cutest. You know, cotton candy. It's a very strange texture. <laughs> Ew, it's just a gelatinous. Ew. I, I said, full disclosure, hate cotton candy. So she I'm used to love like cotton candy, it. and I hate cotton candy. And then now it's swapped. I made her and her fiance walk around three different grocery stores to find me cotton candy. Uh -huh. It tastes like paint. Wait. No, it tastes like paint. It don't taste like anything to me. Wait. No, it tastes like paint. It does. Yeah, you're right. Okay. okay, that's enough. That's disgusting. Where am I okay, place? for reference, that was purchased at Marshalls. Do not recommend. I'm Don't buy the Marshalls, Marshalls candy. and things like that. Yeah. Next, we have one of the things that started this. Unicorn feed. Looks super fun. It's a unicorn nose can spell magic from up to 500 feet away. Open this box at your own risk. So I'm shocked that a unicorn hasn't broken in our door yet to like come attack us, but... We might die. Mid-video. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> it's vegan, vegetarian, no artificial colors. It's made of fruit juice, GMO-free, and fat-free. So, like, it's as good for you as candy gets. Little. It's kind of sad because, like, I was expecting them to actually be unicorn-shaped, but they're just hearts. But they're a good texture. Mouth feels mm. real good. Mm. They're very gummy. If you've never had, like, vegan gummies, they're very different. Like, they're not chewy it, like if you think about a regular like a gummy bear or something how hey, you have to chew it a lot you just vegan go gummies through. are not like that yeah like you just go right through them i think that the texture is a lot better and like i don't like eating a lot of gelatin so like i prefer something like this but i think it's bland i i honestly kind of like it it is like it's definitely like a strawberry fruity flavor very artificial bland. tasting fruit even though it's not apparently but mm -hmm. like it's okay there's some interesting Wait, things in it the the color is literally black carrot concentrate. Something I'm noticing. On this box at the very top, it might be hard to see, there's a unicorn butt 
and the butthole is a heart. Wait, are we eating unicorn butts? Wait, is that its butthole? Apparently we're eating unicorn buttholes, so cheers to that. So far that's the bag, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't purchase it. I, I wouldn't buy it again, but they were okay. Like they weren't offensive. So next we have, offended. I'm scared. These are from Ikea. So they've been going really, really hard with like vegan and vegetarian options lately. So these are vegan gummies that are Swedish dollar horses. So like technically might not be a unicorn. They look like unicorns. But they look like unicorns. Like there's yours. Here's one. They, they have, have horns. Little ears that look like horns. They 100% look like they have horns. I, I feel no like smell. they're unicorns. I'm gonna rip them There's out. orange, red, oh, I'm not. and yellow. Well, oh, these? Yeah, you can't rip them. <laughs> Every candy I've had oh, from Ikea no. is awful. I hope it will be disgusting. I need to spit it out. Spit it on one of your other things. Spit it on your napkin. That would be a spit napkin. That is disgusting. That is by far the worst thing we've had. It's so chewy, I actually can't swallow it or get it off my teeth. It's so sticky. Yeah, wash it down with rose. Shout out to Kim Crawford. <laughs> Thanks, Kim Crawford, my girl. I hate this. Um, this is the most disgusting thing we have at this table. It tastes like something else I've had before. Wine gums? No. Which are disgusting. I honest, I can't think of it. It's something that we had when we were kids. That was the same Not kind of very, very chewy, hard to get off your teeth consistency. I and I remember eat a lot of things when we were kids. I remember not liking that either. I well, you also that. couldn't eat red dye, so or you couldn't eat this. Or you were that kid face. from Daddy Daycare. Oh, I can't eat yellow red dye number two. Yellow dye number four. I just watched Daddy Daycare the other day. All right. So this is the piece to lower This is going to be the best part. The saving grace. So, all hail, hallelujah, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms apparently now has unicorn marshmallows. They also had it in chocolate. Lucky Charms. Chocolate Lucky Charms are not Lucky Charms. Unpopular opinion. Well, they don't count. Let me pour a bowl. So I'm very excited. I'm sure that there's no way they could make them bad. Let me just keep Would going. you like some more? Yeah, milk? let me show my a unicorn. Oh sure. This is what. <laughs> so like all the marshmallow shapes, they don't look that much like the thing that they're supposed to be. A little lackluster. We've got a little nice unsweetened almond milk for the these. Beautiful. Because I don't like having the extra sugar of uh, sweet regular milk. milk or sweetened almond milk. But as I, I eat, eat my super sugary cereal, cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number one. They're really good. Like nothing compares to Lucky Charms. Like we're probably just gonna sit here and eat the whole bowl. Don't wanna take a shot. Mm. Body rolls. Yeah, I feel like it's interesting. Like I remember when we were kids, once again, we weren't really allowed to have sugary cereal, but we would have it like if we were at our grandparents or our friend's <laughs> house or whatever. And like, I remember the cereal being a lot sugarier, mm -mm. didn't it? Mm -mm. I thought it used to be sweeter. Like it tastes like a hearty, so like good. whole grain cereal. I huh? love it. I'm sure it is whole grain. Read it. Every cereal is whole grain. Whole grain oats, first ingredient. I would definitely eat Lucky Charms every day, but I'm gonna finish that box off tonight. Mm. <laughs> Just eat it playing with video games. Yeah, it's interesting. When we were buying stuff for this, we also saw so much stuff that was like mermaid. Mm -hmm. Like every food, there's like a unicorn variation, a mermaid variation. Like there were unicorn party decorations, unicorn gift bags, like unicorn mugs, unicorn cups, like everything. And then also mm -hmm. mermaids and what else? Llamas. Llamas and sloths, which are my two favorite animals. Mm -hmm. Everything is llamas and sloths now. I don't get it. Anyways, those were delicious. Moving along. All right, what do we have next? Do you want to do Felicia? Felicia. This is the piece de la resistance. The real this one. This place you also said that about the Lucky Charms. You're right. This is why we did this. Our mom saw this unicorn. This goddamn beautiful hand pink unicorn. Her name is Felicia, and that is canon. It says it, Felicia the unicorn. The issue is it's cotton candy flavored. And, and I, I think it's gonna be. And I hate candy. We put. Um, I also don't want to ruin her. No, we're. But I want to bite her head off. off. Yeah. Hundred um, percent. So chocolate Favoris is like new to Ontario. It's a Quebec thing. Yeah. So nobody will know thing. what that is. They make handmade chocolates and stuff, but the best part is they have ice cream. So they have saucer ice cream. I should stop. 
finicking. They have stocks of rice cream and all these fondues of all these different flavors and they dip your ice cream in it and then put stuff on. But the lay it's like this thick of a layer of fondue. It's absolutely phenomenal. And they have like a caramel chocolate fondue. They have like white chocolate cookies Red and cream. Red velvet I got the other day. Oh my god. They have like s'mores. Like it's unbelievable. They also do like vegan sorbets and they'll dip them in like a pure dark chocolate that doesn't have any milk in it. Like it's unbelievable. She smells disgusting. Oh no. Oh, she has a hole in her too. That's fine. It smells terrible. Go for it, buddy. I'm gonna bite her mouth. Eat Felicia. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> she, I can't. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Her whole butt fell in. <laughs> because I <crushed> it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Thick. <laughs> She's a thick girl. That's just special. Bye, Felicia. That's it's very cool. unfortunate because, like, literally everything from this place is so good. And on our way in, we're like, oh, do you think it's just regular white chocolate? Like, it'll be so tasty or, like, regular chocolate with, like, paint. Like, edible paint. She's dead. She wasn't good. I do not recommend. I would recommend something made out of any of their other chocolates because they're all really good. That's just too sweet. Like, yeah. it's so sugary. I hate this. All right. Well, I mean, now that we're, like, just getting fucked on sugar, we're just going to keep it going. With these, Bakery Bling, create your own designer bling unicorn. Designer. Cookies. She Gucci. So it's a whole kit. It literally says on the front. But there's, there's instructions on the back. There's our icing pack. And it mm. tells you to go online to watch the video instructions. It's just a unicorn cookie and some glue. <laughs> like, yeah, there's purple and pink. What? Nice, Am I just like, to bite this sugar? off? No, there's scissors somewhere here. It's way over there. Oh. I'll get them. I'll warm this up. So there's purple and pink, like, chunky glitter with, like, multiple other little specks of color. Wait, wait. And then there's also, like, super thin, fine gold glitter, which is supposed to be for the horn. Oh, I'm like, I'm So I'm going to try and make one that looks exactly like the Wait, there's one. eyelashes. Oh, yeah, there's also eyelashes. I'm going to make one that has 16 different eyeballs. I'm excited because it actually smells really good. Like of everything here, like it's the one thing that, like obviously Baker cookies needs. that have been sitting in this package forever. Might Lord not knows be how that long. Good. I'm sure it has an expiration date. My fake, which we never checked, probably should have. Best Buy, four fifteen nineteen. Okay, so we got go. a bit of time. Should we just pop these all open quick? Yeah, might as well. We'll pop the eyeball or the eyelashes right open and put the cookies. Smell what is the eyelash though? I think it's just sugar. No. It's just like a little sprinkle. These smell like cardboard. They don't smell. I think they smell like cardboard. <laughs> so we'll see, they might be shit. But the icing smells really good. In the package at least, and like sprinkles are always good. So. I don't really taste. So far it seems that like the overwhelming, like the flavor that people associate. Oh, yeah, is like cotton candy is the flavor of unicorns and then after cotton candy it's just like super super sweet so i'm just gonna put a glob this i feel like remotely like cum what i'm going to do i'm gonna do mine in separate parts so that i can actually make it look like i'm not oh my god she's gonna be beautiful bertha what a beautiful name, Thank you. Bertha. I think that's one of the things with unicorns and like why it's become such a big thing. Like, if you think of it from just like a business point of view, kids in general like things that are like very bright and pretty. And like, why is her eyeball? I feel like yeah. what could be more pretty than like a unicorn? Yours is not, does not look like the photo at all. I didn't try. Oh my. I'm gonna add some magic. Yeah, add a couple four leaf clovers. It was St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Are there four leaf clovers in here? Yeah. But it's literally an Irish cereal. I thought you were I don't think it's Irish. Well, like it's okay. It's supposed to be like fake Irish. Oh. I'm gonna do the maze. I did it instantaneously. Well, because you're not four years old. Mm. Just a unicorn here to stay forever. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Seeing a unicorn in the wild will bring you good luck. Unicorns can cleanse water with the touch of their horn. Unicorns can heal whatever troubles you have. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on side. A unicorn always knows when you are telling the truth. This is my unicorn. Oh. 
She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. We're sprinkled everywhere. She looks exactly like the model in the image. <laughs> Your <laughs> eyeballs are <laughs> Alright, well, let's try them. Ooh, those sprinkles are real, too. Oh, it's really hard. That's horrific. Oh my god. We had such high hopes. What's mean, the thing that tastes salty? Mine tastes like pure salt. Is the cookie salty? No. Is the white sprinkles actually just salt? Mm -mm. I hate it. It's not good. It's just the worst food taste test I've ever been a part so, of. So, <laughs> all of these I love food. food. <laughs> so do I. And I actually had high hopes because it's a lot of like candy and chocolate. But it seems like one of the overarching themes of these is like they're really cute and aesthetically pleasing, but like they didn't give a sh they're like, oh, kids are just gonna eat them, so it doesn't matter, just as long as they're really sugary, they'll like them. But I'm an adult and, and I want some unicorn shit. And the thing is, like, even kids, like, they deserve better food than this. Like, I wanna eat that. They have one. more discerning taste than that. Most kids, like, I don't know a lot of children that would be like, mmm, salt cookie. What? Did you get some salt? I ate the eyeball. I mean, everything was not good. I hated everything. If you had to give a rank, like if you had to say your best thing and your worst thing, what would it be? Lucky Charms. Okay. Besides sense. Lucky Charms. Besides Lucky Charms, because like you knew you were going to like The those. pistachio Chocolate? little this nasty Okay, boy. what would be your least favorite? <laughs> the cotton candy, probably, which is weird because I love cotton candy, but it's so... It's paint. Yeah. I was so excited. It's such a big tub. I was like, yeah, I'm going to bring it home and I'm going to eat it. Well, I mean, you get to bring it home. Congrats, you win the you prize. Keep it. <laughs> I you think, like it, you wear it. So obviously my favorite thing is also the Lucky Charms. My second favorite is probably these Unicorn Feed Heart Gummies. Cause like, I, I feel okay. like they're fine. fine. There's nothing offending about they're them. They're fine. I want um, good candy. That was other, so excited for today. <laughs> like my least favorite is also definitely this cotton candy. She was pretty it, nasty It too. tasted like paint thinner. I think Mark might That's like just her. like really sweet. Mark like it's like overpoweringly it. sweet mm -hmm. and I'm not a fan. And like I just, I didn't even eat all of these So things. the census says, buy, yeah, buy Lucky, Lucky Charms. Charms. They're really good. Eat these. They're and not they're, good for you. They're better for you than any of the other stuff here. How much, how many grams of sugar per serving? <laughs> and I was wondering why I didn't just say sugars. So on the English side. <laughs> Attempt number two. Nine grams. Nine grams. Oh, that's not that bad. There's zinc, magnesium, phosphorus, I don't fucking know, folate, vitamin B6, niacin, vitamin D, iron, calcium, vitamin C, vitamin A. How do you say that? Pantothenate, maybe? Tatiana. <laughs> Tatiana. Yeah, so basically, wouldn't recommend any of these unicorn foods. If you work for a food company that, like, makes unicorn foods, please make step it up. Better. Because these aren't good. This wine is the best thing here. It's also the best thing. Kai doesn't even like the wine, so I'm gonna be drinking two cups. Cheers. Cheers. But, uh, I mean, unicorns are cute. That's it. And, and he cute as shit. They're cute as shit. Cute as shit. They don't Disgusting. taste They don't taste good. They're so gross. So stop making unicorn foods. This has been our TED Talk. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to my TED Talk. Thank you. I, uh, and, uh, built it myself. We'll see you next time. If you like this video, make sure you like it, as always. If you aren't already <laughs> subscribed, please make Sorry, sure you okay. do that as well. It's the big red button down I'm below. I'm just gonna mimic every YouTuber in the world and just mix it all together, but. We'll do it. That's no, fine. I don't want to. I feel like in every video, I end up doing the thing that Tana does in her videos where she Tana, literally Tana, is just Tana, like Tana, this. Tana, Tana. And like forgets what she's talking about and just starts. I literally read the French like, side of a box for five <laughs> minutes. So much that I couldn't figure out that sucrose, which I took French, my last name is French was sugar. I was just looking at it like, these are very weird words. And then I was like, fuck. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like this video, I, I hope you did. <laughs> Please save me from the sugar high. This is too much sugar. I actually feel stoned now. We're going to go make real dinner. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. And we'll We're see gonna you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.